Okay. Today is week three of July or the third Thursday. So we will be making a Christmas card featuring our little monkey stamp set. Now I'm going to go back here and look for a second because I had put on my VIP Facebook group, had a, um, had a poll where you guys got to choose which designer series paper we are using to create this card today. That is one benefit of joining my VIP group. You um, will occasionally get to vote on things that I'm going to create with during these live videos. So we are using the Misty Moonlight cardstock for the card base. This is a piece of eight and a half by 11 paper cut in half at four and quarter. So we have four and a quarter by 11. And when you fold it, you have a four and a quarter by five and a half inch card. And then I have a piece of basic white for the inside. That's four by five and a quarter. And I cut a strip of the designer series paper to go along that inside. And then I also have pecan pie, crumb cake, and crushed curry to use with our monkey punch here in a little bit. And the winning designer series paper is from the um, paper that is in the online exclusives as well. And last I checked, it was also sold out. So let me know if you want to know when it's back in stock. This is the design that was chosen. And I'm trying to remember what the paper is called. Something about one horse open slate, I think. Okay, so this is our designer paper that we will be using. But I'm going to go ahead and we're going to stamp and punch our monkey out. Out oh, where am I for? Oh, it's right here in front of my face. Okay, and we'll be stamping the monkey in pecan pie on a piece of pecan pie, and then also his face on the crumb cake. going to get my punch out and we're going to punch our monkey. Get him all lined up there. Turn the light back on. Oops, that was not lined up well. There we go. That's lined up better. And there's our monkey and a bunch of scraps. And then to do the face, I'm going to want the monkey down here 
lined up with where the face is, and then we'll also get two monkey ears. Now, let's see if I can get this all out. There's the face, and there's two ears. And I'm going to go ahead and put our monkey together while I have all the pieces bound so that um, we don't lose them. And then we're going to make a banana. And the monkey was perfectly cute as is on the pecan pie. So if you don't want to add the extra of face and the ears, you don't have to. But I just really wanted my monkey to have some little extra detail. Then I'm gonna put this monkey stamp away. Put some ink on my block. Then I'll be grabbing the banana, and we'll be stamping the banana. And then punching it, and I think we may do three bananas. my first cloning pad. And line up my bananas. One banana. Two bananas. And I already punched out some of this banana. So I'm going to go ahead and punch out what I can still see, and then we might hide that banana, see if that works, or it might only do two bananas. Okay. Our monkey is going to have a bunch of bananas to give as a gift. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and start to put all of this together. 
And as I do this, I realize there it is. I lost the cute little hat that I made for a monkey. I realized as I was preparing for this card that I don't have any stamps, current or retired, with a Santa hat or an elf hat to put on my character. So that's something I'm going to have to look for when the new catalog comes out which it comes out um, September September for customers to buy. August, demonstrators can pre-order. And if you want to see demonstrators get a sneak peek of it, I believe next week, so if you really want to celebrate Christmas in July and don't want to have to wait until September to order, you might want to join my team. Go ahead and let me know if that is something that you would like to do. Okay. Here's our designer series paper. We are, oops, I gotta put it the right direction. Putting on the front of our card. And then we're gonna put an elf hat on this monkey. I cut this out of a memories and more Christmas set was an actual elf. I'm going to have monkey kind of swinging from that branch with a bundle of bananas underneath the tree. Now let's see how we can do this. There's two of the bananas. What if I just sneak that one under there? Yeah, we'll glue him down first. And then I will put the other bananas on top. There's a little banana hiding back there. All right. Now I'm going to look for the sentiment that I want to put on this card. I like the idea of Merry Christmas, but I'm not sure it's going to fit. I'm going to have to stamp it in pecan pie on some crumb cake. And then we will cut a tag.
Trim that off. I'm going to use some dimensionals to put both sentiment label and the monkey on there. Order up the tree or the bananas. If the monkey needs to hang up the well, that'll work right there. And then I'm putting a bow of red um sneakers twine on the top of our banana to give someone love for a little monkey. Or is it a gift that he left for someone? I don't know. But there we have the bow on top of the bananas. And we will put little monkey with some dimensional swinging from the branch. And there we have our little monkey Christmas card. Merry Christmas. And you open that up and there's a lot of place for you to write with some red designer series paper on the bottom. I hope you enjoyed this 